hello learners we are back with new tutorial and this video will be interesting because of the new member in our journey i have a specimen which is a very well known in phycology world as well as biological fields we are going to learn about its salient features with help of microscopic images so let's learn <music> Okay, so the specimen I have is Nostoc. So Nostoc belongs to the family Nostocaceae, order Nostocalis, class Cyanophyceae, and the division is Cyanophyta. Nostoc, with about 29 species, is a freshwater or terrestrial alga, and this alga is also found in a plenty of order in paddy fields. Some species uh, grow on moist uh, soil intermingled with mosses and lichens, while other constitute the algal components of lichens or occur as endophytes within the thallus of liverworts like anthocerus and in stems of different marsh plants and roots in case of spermatophytes like cycas, zamia, etc. Aquatic species are often uh, attached to the substratum or they may be free floating in the ponds of stagnant water forming the bluish green scum okay at first let's introduce ourselves with these i have a grease free glass light and cotton blue as stain so there are other stain like bismarck brown which could be used as stain for thallophytes too in case of cotton blue, the cell walls turn blue except the cutinized walls. This is a temporary stain so the color fades with time. And I have few needles which helps me to tease the specimen properly. Now I am taking very less amount of specimen on glass side and teasing it apart as I want a clear single filamentous body to observe its detailed structure. Now I'm gonna add cotton blue directly on slide and put it aside in this condition for a few moments. Okay, it's time for final step. Before we are going to put it on microscope stage, be careful here to avoid air bubbles. Now we are ready to observe. At first in uh, 10x magnification and then we will try 40x. What I have got here is a filamentous form. The filaments are aggregated together within mucilage envelope forming ball-like gelatinous colonies which is termed as nostoc balls. Each trichome is enveloped by a thin mucilaginous hyaline or colored sheath forming a filament. The sheaths of adjoining trichomes may fuse to form a common gelatinous matrix of the colony. The filaments are unbranched. They are usually contorted and twisted in various ways. Each filament consists of a row of rounded oval cells which seem to be arranged like beads on a string. Such a habit is called moniliform. In a filament, all the cells are not alike but at interval are found slightly larger, rounded and thick-walled cells having transparent contents. These are heterocysts. The heterocysts are commonly with two polar nodules and intercalary, but rarely with one polar nodule and terminal. Besides the formation of heterocysts, the filaments occasionally form echinids, which is not found in this slide, but I have collected some microscopic images of echinids of Nostoc from internet. Echinids are oblong or spherical and are much larger than the vegetative cells. They are formed centrifugally in series between two successive heterocysts. Under favorable conditions, each echinid develops into a new filament. The filaments also break into a number of pieces, that is hormogons, by the decay of ordinary cells. According to Smith, hormogons often develop into new trichomes without being liberated from the colony. It is documented that the reproduction takes place by hormogons and achinids. This is all about the simple salient features of Nostoc based on microscopic images. 
I'll continue to make more of practical based videos from now on. Please stay with us. If you haven't subscribed yet, please press the red button and click the bell icon. Beside, feel free to suggest about anything. Put a comment below. Thank you for your patience.